Happy day 12, each and every one of you. Saturday, Sunday is tomorrow. I know for some of you, every day seems like Saturday because you've been at home and you've been confined. But guess what? This is a different day because it means it's one day till Sunday. And we know what Sunday is. Come on, it's a time where we can all gather around our phones, computers, TVs, and that we can watch church online. Yes, we miss church together, but we're going to have, we're going to make the best out of this situation. We're going to throw watch parties. And come on, I challenge you, let's get the word out, spread the word, and let's touch as many people with God as we possibly can. Because what an opportunity. People are ready to listen right now. So let's make sure what they're hearing from us is the gospel and what God wants them to hear. So keep reaching people, keep touching them. So here we are again on Saturday. We want to soap God's word. We're looking at the scripture and we're studying through that. We're looking at the observation. Then we're taking the application. How can I apply that to my life? And then we're praying, saying, God, help this to be a part of my everyday life. So today, the last for the devotion for this week, we're looking at Psalms 91 verses 11 and 12. And I love these verses. Man, I love God's word. It's incredible. But it says this, for he shall, he shall. It doesn't say maybe he will. He shall give his angels charge over you. In their hands, they will bear you up. They will lift you. The thought is this, lest you dash or strike your foot against a stone. The Message Bible says it this way. He has ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. So what's the observation? The observation is this. God has assigned guardian angels to be there to protect us and to take care of our lives. What is an angel? An angel is a ministering spirit. We have ministering spirits there to help us. When Jesus went through the time of temptation in the wilderness, the Bible says that after the devil fleed, God sent angels to minister to him. They're there to minister to us, to help us, to protect us, to guard us, to keep us safe. And I love that. I don't know about you, but I love that. In fact, Psalms 23 verse 6, we discovered last week that surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. As a Sunday school teacher once told me, surely goodness, goodness and mercy were the names of your angels that are sent there to follow you. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I still like that. And we know that there are angels sent on assignment for your life to protect you. And as Billy Graham observed in this passage, it's not just an angel, it's angels. There are angels that have been assigned. So at least two angels have been assigned. I know for some of you, you maybe need a few more. Only plan. I love you. But you know what? God has sent angels there to protect you. In Psalms 91 verse 4, we talked about the feathers under his feathers, under his wings, he will keep you. Since God has no feathers and God has no wings, that could be figuratively speaking like of an eagle or as a, of a mother hell, hen as we talked about. But some have suggested that these feathers and these wings are actually that of the angels that God has put all around us, which will protectively cover us to keep us from falling. Come on, I'm so glad that there are ministering spirits. I don't have to fall flat on my face, but they're there to keep me upright. Come on, they're there to avoid me getting lost, to steer me and to direct my life. Come on, they're there to stop me from stumbling into unknown dangers in my life. Come on, in unforeseen realms, spiritually as well as physically, just there to be with me. So what's the application? Come on, you begin to realize today that I've got angels assigned to me. Come on, God has not left me alone but they're there to protect me and to watch over me. And what am I to do? I've got to follow their lead and, and I've got to follow their voice. Come on, I, I want them to be those ministering spirits all around me. Because what happens when you feel alone, you can feel kind of vulnerable, but you've got to realize this, you're not alone. You've got angels there with you. You've got God there with you. 
Let that build a confidence in your life. They used to have a bumper sticker years ago that used to basically say, don't go over 70 miles an hour because you'll go faster than your ministering angels. Well, I'm so glad that my ministering angels go faster than 70 miles an hour. Thank you, Jesus. But that's foolishness in the sense of how can we ever outspeed or outgo? Those angels are right there with us, and God has sent them on an assignment to take care of your life. What another incredible way to realize the care and concern that God has for each and every one of our lives. So what have I got to do? The application? Rest in that today. Rest in God that he has your life taken care of, your future taken care of, He's got you covered. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your angels that are sent on assignment. God, to protect us, to keep us, to help us to avoid stumbling, falling and getting lost. But they are there, God, to lift us up. And God, I thank you, for God, for that presence that's all around us, God, just to lift us up, the confidence that we can have that we're not alone in you. And thank you again, God. That's just another way that you show how much you love us and care for us. And God, I pray today that we would rest in that, that we would just, God, walk in that. We would live in that, that, God, we would breathe that in today. We love you. We praise you. We adore you in Jesus' name. Come on, shout amen. Don't forget tomorrow, live at 9 a.m., spread the word, get the word out. It's going to be a fantastic day. I'm preaching the message, lessons I've learned in the storm. And I hope that will really help you just going through some of the things that I've observed and God has spoken to me through this time of crisis. We love you. Have a blessed day. See you tomorrow. God bless. 